So as I mentioned, I'm going to tell a few a few stories. Um, over the past couple of nights, the fire has approached uh, our new Rose Valley water treatment plant. This is a $75 million building where the construction is nearly completed and the water is almost flowing. It's a piece of critical infrastructure. It's going to make an immense difference to our community when it gets turned on. And we were not going to let it burn down. The fire burned over the treatment plant last night, but I'm happy to report that it was saved and undamaged. The treatment plant was saved because of the actions of firefighters from the BC Wildfire Service and all of the structural fire departments that are deployed. $10,000 worth of sprinklers and pumps that were put on that building over the last two days saved a $75 million asset. And I am incredibly devastated by the loss, but I want to share with you the good news that's happening out there. When this fire is over, we're going to be able to pick back up and get that water plant turned on. I want to share a story from yesterday afternoon. Yesterday again was one of the most difficult days of firefighting our department has ever faced. Our crews were sent to a street in West Kelowna and they found three houses were burning all next to each other. And the fire was expanding up the hill. It was threatening hundreds of homes above those three. And we had multiple fire engines involved in, involved in combating three single family house fires, which on a normal day for us is a massive operation. These firefighters fully engaged and fought, those, fought that fire. But as an example of the coordination that the BC Wildfire Service had mentioned earlier, at the same time our crews were fighting it on the ground, their crews were flying above in helicopters dropping water on the same fire. This is unprecedented firefighting tactics that are taking place out there because of the cooperation. For us to be supported from the air the way that we were and to result in a save of hundreds of homes like that is, is just um, absolutely amazing and it's a prime example of what's happening out there. Uh, we also faced very complex situations uh, along West Side Road, um, particularly where it meets Highway 97. This is a neighborhood uh, that is growing and expanding. Uh, there are chlorine uh, gas storage there for the pumping station, which, which supplies clean drinking water. But there's also a number of mobile home parks where the trailers are placed close together and a number of newly constructed six-story condominium buildings, um, residential apartments. And the fire was being fought on the ground uh, in that neighborhood to protect the, this. And we are just, it's unprecedented. We are not used to fighting wildland fire against six-story condominium buildings, but the saves that were made uh, are just absolutely unprecedented. Um, last night, we had, um, we had a reprieve but i'm cautious in saying that because it wasn't a reprieve we were still fighting tens or you know multiple structure fires at the same time across the community so to call that a reprieve is just it boggles my mind uh, the winds died down uh, we didn't see the dramatic you know, glow in the sky necessarily in as many places as we had the night before. So I guess if you could call that a reprieve, it was, but don't think for a second that it wasn't in totally unprecedented last night after a totally unprecedented day of firefighting yesterday. I'm sad to report that we lost multiple structures yesterday again in within the city of West Kelowna. Today, the firefight continues on the ground. Uh, when I drove uh, the fire this morning, um, briefly, um, there was two locations that uh, I came upon where immediate action, putting out a very small fire, meant that we we saved uh, homes just by just by literally dumping a small tank of water on these homes. So today the firefight is on again out there. Thank you.